create a picture with the three primary colours, red, yellow and blue. We're going to be inspired by the artist Mark Rothko, who loved to make pictures with big blocks of bright colours. Abstract art, nothing realistic. So you can see here that I've been kind of influenced. We've got lots of blocks of colour, but lots of different reds, yellows and blues. So with your art book, you need to get four different materials. So I've got pens, I've got crayons, I've got chalk pastels, and I have got paint. You find four different things that you have in your house. Use a ruler to draw two lines in your book, one going down, one going across. And this will give you four rectangles. And then in each rectangle, you're going to use a different set of materials. So I'm gonna start with the crayons and you're just gonna create stripes or blocks of the three primary colors. So here I'm starting with red with my crayon, filling it in that space. Then I'm gonna do the same with yellow and then the same with the blue. Now we're not really experimenting with color mixing here. We are a little bit. You might start to see that the yellow is mixing a bit with the red making an orange. But the idea of doing this picture is you really get in your head which the three primary colors are, red, yellow, and blue. And you have a little experiment with different materials. And you have an experiment with thinking about how can you create something simple that looks still pretty cool. So it's just simple blocks of colour. And Mark Rothko, this is what he did, and he, his paintings are worth millions of dollars. So even though you're creating something very simple, not something real, can still look really awesome and, and be something that lots of people might want, even want to buy. So once you've finished that first box, then choose a different material. So now I'm going to move on to the pen. I'm going to Use a different colour first because I do want this whole picture to look like one united uniform picture as well, not really four separate pictures. So I'm thinking about how I'm placing the colours next to each other. And then I'm going to continue. So I'm going to do all of this block with the pen and then I will do the next one with the paint and the final one with the chalk. Um, if you are using chalk, remember that you can smudge a little bit with your fingers and blend the colours together. Okay, have fun and I look forward to seeing your finished pieces. <laughs>